Yeah, man, growing up with him as a father dog, yo, it was crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, but obviously, it was a, it was until later in life when I started, like, you know, opening up. I get a text from a friend of mine called Linda saying, "Yo, boy, sorry." I'm like, "Sorry? What do you mean? Like, yo, I'm sorry for for your loss. Like, what do you mean, dog?" Yo, Lindesh. My bro. What's going on, brother? What's the life, dog? Hey, my man, thank you for coming through, man. Thank you I really appreciate me. it a lot, man. Thank you very much. Shout out to you, dog. man. Shout Did out. I not wake you up in the morning? Ah, dog. Enjoy it, dog. Yeah. Don't worry, dog. Ah, my man. I think you have, to, you have the most su supporting structure. <laughs> the strongest supporting structure. <laughs> I, you think? I, actually, I thought maybe you were going to come alone. And yeah. uh, when, when <laughs> I saw you coming with that lady there, yeah. and I was like, hey, yeah, is she the one? Ah, she's the one, Brizzy. You yeah. know. When, no when, when, when are you calling us for the income situation? Ah, it's going to come eventually. Is it? Yeah. But we must, we must prepare the suit situation. Uh -huh. we, must, nah, we must save up for the, that one. Eh? Nah, it's coming busy. But anyway, how are you doing, man? Congratulations to you, dog. Is it? Pulling that off also. Is it? Yeah, yeah shut up, man. Dog. Shut up. Let me put this mic. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. If you can just speak a little bit louder. Okay. Yeah, you were saying congratulations to me? To you, dog. Yeah, yeah for pulling that off, dog. Is Sorry, it? Dog. Yeah, I haven't seen you since. Like, is congrats, it? dog. Yeah. Dude, it's been how long we saw each other? What? I don't know. Maybe more than a year or something? More than know. a year. I think it's been two years to three years now. Two years now? Yeah, it's been two years. The last time I saw you, it was um, at Massive. And you mm. pulled through. I think you were playing mixes there time to time oh, on Fridays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But how are you, it's dude? It's been a minute, dog. Ah. I'm fine, dog. Yeah. I'm chilling, dog. Yeah, no. Nah. Just like, you know, yeah, one day at a time, dog. But I'm just chill, dog. Nah. How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm nah. good, man. Anyway, Shut for up. people that don't know you, mm -hmm. who is Lindesh? Ish. Here's that question. Ish. I don't know how to answer the question, dog. Ah, eh? my man. Come on. <laughs> tell us. Tell us. But, man, let me see. Ish, Lindesh. DJ, music producer, songwriter, recording artist, model, all the way from Soweto. Um... Yeah, man. Real name, Linda Kumalo. Um, yeah, I don't know how to answer that question. Yeah, dog. yeah. yeah. So I can say about myself, man. Yeah. yeah. How How is it like growing in Soweto? In Soweto? Yeah. It's very interesting, dog, you know, because um, it can see you live with humble people, you know what I mean? Yeah. So um, we all come from, from different backgrounds. You know? Yeah, yeah. So maybe put the um, mic a little bit closer, closer. because people Sorry. are busy out here. Busy, busy grinding, grinding or something, yeah. dog. So yeah, dog. Um, no muntu or baba kuli sangin jala it different. You know what I mean? Um, so growing up in the hood is just like you know, opilisa, and it's just like it's it's a very humbling experience, and then it 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 builds character, and it's just like um. We just learn, we just learn to live with other people type thing. You know what I mean? So yeah. More than anything, it's just like, you know, growing up in the hood teaches you a lot of stuff. It yeah. character. Yeah. Dude, I mean, like you, you grew up in Soweto. Uh, yeah. we, we know that. Um, mm. when I first met you at, at Massive Metro, I actually thought you were Stefanus, uh, <laughs> Stefan, <laughs> Steph, shout out to Stefan Steph, from shout out Steph, Everything Steph. Music, Everything SA Music. A, yeah. I actually thought a, you guys were friends. He was, you were just this home and all that. Mm -hmm. Then I realized that. Uh, you are actually Brown Dash's son. Yeah. And I was I was blown away, actually. So I, I now realize that, snap. So this is why you are actually called Lean Dash. Yeah. Yeah. yeah shout out. Were you, were, you spe were you intentional by calling yourself Lean Dash? Um, taking funny. it from Brown Dash, your dad. Yeah. Yeah, that's where it came from. So funny enough, um, my cousin gave me that stage name. Shout out to Zama. Yeah. My cousin. So when I was starting out the music thing, um... I used to call myself Dash because growing up, they used to call me Dash because of Pops. Oh, you know? okay. I used to call myself Dash and everything. And then she said, yo, man, you need something that's also going to represent you and your own legacy at the same time. You know what I mean? I was like, ah, you're right. And then she said, um, how about we go with um, Mlindesh? Because other people call me Mlindos because my real name is Linda. Yeah. She said Mlindesh. I was like, Ah, that lands, but let's, let's remove the M. It's like, oh yeah, let's remove the M. Just stick with Lindesh. No. Oh. So yeah, it's just a combination of my real name, it being Linda, and people used to call me um, Dash because of Pops. Yeah. So yeah, it's just imagining the two legacies, my own legacy and his. Don't you think that at some point you thought of calling yourself Lil Dash? 
Lil like Dash. Lil Dash, yeah, like Lil Wayne, Lil, nah, nah, you nah, understand? Nah. <laughs> like Lil, as, nah. as in like, you know, like you are the little Dash. Nah, in nah, a way. Dog, I, I get you. Nah, yeah. dog, not even, nah. Is not it? like that. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, like your dad, dude, is a legend, bro. Nah, like your dad dog. worked with so many legends in South Africa. Shout out yeah. to him, Zaga, Zaga, as well. Um, dude, how was it growing up with such a legend in front of you? I know... Uh, I, I was listening to Robert's boy interview the other day. Um, mm-hmm. Shout out to his dad. He's like, there was a time where Nelson Mandela could pull up, pull up at their house. house yeah. And I'm like, dude, you had Nelson That's Mandela crazy, pull up at your house. That's dude. crazy. Dude. Like, how crazy is that? <laughs> so I'm <laughs> like, I look, I thought of you as like, snap. I'm sure your dad was was a superstar. Yeah. And yeah, at some point, actually, let me just go back. Did you grow up with your dad? Um, No, not really. So I grew up it's a way to bring an old lady, but I I would visit my dad, uh, t- from time to time because yeah. he used to uh, used to live in the burbs for yeah. years. Yeah. So yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah, man, growing up with him as a father dog, yeah, it was crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, but obviously it was uh, it was until later in life when I started like you know opening up. Which oh, actually this bro is a musician. He, he yeah. You know, he does this, he does that, you understand? Because from time to time, we're going to on the TV doing stuff and everything. Seeing but your dad on TV. I dude. didn't really understand, yes. though, you know what I mean? Yes. I'm like, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, and I pull up, and I was like, oh, the bruise on TV, but I didn't really understand. But as time went on, my long cool, I was like, oh, okay, this guy's an artist and stuff, you know? <laughs> so every time I pulled up, obviously, visiting him for ways, we chill, you know? One morning, we have a dog, and then, you know, um, Uncle Ndandu is, uh, is doing you breakfast. Ndandu yeah. Mangani. Yeah. yeah. You wake up. Ndandu Mangani is in your kitchen, dog. Preparing you food, dog. You wake up one morning. Mendoza is taking a nap on your couch. You understand mm. what I mean, dog? Mm. That's the lifestyle that we used to think, dog. Mm. On my father's side also. You know, the superstars that used to pull up to the house. I'm not going to lie to you, dog. How old were you at crazy. the time when you were seeing her? Um, I mean, seeing him on TV. Seeing him on TV? Um, I think the first time I saw him, I was probably oh my, five Four, five years old. You're still young. Dude. Yeah, I was still young, dog. Four, but you five. can understand the situation that, yo, this yeah. brother is on TV, bro. Yeah, I think at the time, four, five, I think I understand the grand, but I must yeah. be my seven lap. Then I could say, oh, okay, cool. Oh, yeah, that's Tando Bangani. Oh, that's what you understand. Sing Alangbona, the faces and stuff. Like, oh, okay, I know this bro, you know? Yeah. Mm. Were you blown away, maybe, you know, seeing him on TV and you are there at school? Bluff mm. into other kids. Nah, you know, my dog. dad is on TV, yo. Nah. <laughs> what you mean? What's your dad doing? Nah, dog. Funny enough, dog. Nah. So with me, dog, I've always shied away from the thing, eh? Yeah. From 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 thing, dog. From way back, um, I never used to like the thing, dog. When someone says, "Yo, hey, whatever," how yeah. dare she? No, but I don't like the thing, dog. Because what it does is, um it instills a certain perception about you in yeah. people. You understand? We're talking, now you're Dash's son. Now you have this pressure, dog. Why aren't you going in Nike? Mm. Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Why are you in school with us right now? Why are you here? Aren't you supposed to be, yeah, well, all that type, all that type of stuff because I was like, yo, oh, that's hectic. So because of that, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to hold this to myself and I'm just going to live my life. You know what I mean? Dude, you were feeling pressure while your dad was there. Yeah, And dog. you were just here, but you were feeling the pressure. Yeah, dog. It's so crazy, dog. Dude. So crazy, dog. Yeah, that's the pressure that, that it came with, dog. So I was like, yo, you know what? Because of this, if I want to live a normal life also, I just need to just like, you know, not chop it up about this bro. This bro is this bro, but I'm I'm my, I'm my thing also. I'm my own being by myself also. You know what I mean? Dude, that's hey, dog, crazy. It's so crazy. I'm not going to lie. The pressure was too much, ne? High yeah, school. It was too much, dog. Yeah, from primary even. From primary. And then I remember, I remember in high school, um... He came. Yo. He came as a landing report, dog. He pulled up. So now... Um, he came with what? What car, what car was he driving? Actually, I don't know at the time. I don't but it was a came. proper one, I'm sure. Eh? It was probably like a, a Vito or something. Yeah. You know, yeah. It was, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was a V-class, but yeah. Yeah, it was a Vito. But it was then. proper at the time. Yeah, it was proper. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he came and then uh, I remember he called me. He says, like, yo, boy, I'm going to pull up and come fetch your report. I said, nah, don't come. He said, nah, boys, why? I said, nah, don't come. He said, okay, sharp. Sharp. I pull pulled up, up dog. <laughs> he pulled up. And when he pulls up, yeah, he calls me. 
I can see the car from a distance. He calls me. I don't pick up. You know what I did instead? I ran away. Mm. I ran away, dog. That time the school kids are following the car already, dog. I Lean ran dash, away. Lean dash. No, I was saying, no, uh, brown, uh, dash, brown dash, away. brown dog, dash. I ran away. I was like, no, even I the teachers, I'm sure. Dog. Yeah, Sila. Ah, uh, not even though. It was just outside the school, even. And I was going to say, oh, yeah, school, yeah. So but already, it was already, crazy. Though, when he pulled up, you. I just ran away. I said, no, man, I don't want to be a part of this thing, though, because now I know what exactly it's going to come with. You know what I mean? The perception Dude. people have and the pressure, and, and, and it's just a lot, though. It keeps on building up. So I was like, hey. The nah. fame and the, like, the, the, pressure of fame was just chasing you chasing yeah. you chasing you yeah it does that man because like i said man people have um perceptions and and stuff you know what i mean when they see your father on tv they they attach a certain lifestyle to you also yeah. you know what i mean um so for me to be in that school a government school and my father is a well-known musician yeah it doesn't make sense to them you know what I, you know what i mean mm. but that's just their perception of our stuff but people in general you know what i mean that's what they that's that's how they think about you unfortunately yeah yeah, well. yeah. so because of that stuff was just like i was just like man ish. it's hectic bro. let me relax yeah, yeah let me just how was your relationship with him growing up ah, i was dope man I was dope, man. I used to be a bit scared of him i don't know because he was a father at the end of the day you know we have that mm. sort of level of respect for our fathers, you know. I think it's because of that. But our relationship was dope, man. Um, we used to chop it up, chop it up about a lot of stuff. Um, he used to teach me in the zip I drew, and um, yo, I you know we we had a dope one. I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, we had a dope one, dog. Jeez, man, I can imagine, man, growing mm. up as Brown mm. Dash's son, dude, like. It's crazy, man. Your dad was a superstar, dude. Like hey, dog. everybody knew him. But how did you manage to go through the pressure and 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 you know? Did you have anxiety at some point? I sh- I think I think I did, but at the time I didn't understand what it was. Yeah, well, um, um, I think my way to deal with pressure was to run away from it. Yeah, yeah, well, that's why I need to um when. People would just like try pull the card and everything. Even now, dog, I still hate it. By the way, man, hey, if you know this thing, dog, stop doing the thing of saying, yeah, I know this is Linda, she's brown to she's side. Hey, man, hey, dog. They love hate doing it. that. I, hey, dog, I hate it when people do that, dog. Ish. Yeah, Ish. I hate Ish. it, dog, because with me, you know, even now, I'm just like, Ish, dog, that's my, I use it as my magic, uh, uh, magic card now. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like, okay, cool. If you meet me, sharp, mess with me for who I am first. Mm. Ne? Secondly, mess with me for what I do. Mm, yeah, Thirdly, yeah, yeah. then you can bumper that card. It's okay, cool. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, well, I understand. Yeah. So just don't just throw out the black card, man. Yeah, yo, this is this is a brown dash side yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah, the magic card. Like, no, oh, man. Oh. yeah, I hate that thing though. Did you get? Yeah. Do you get something like this? Like when people, people, okay, cool. We meet ne, mm. in a room, and yo, this is brown dash mm. Do you get when people look at you somehow like, oh, look at him, like? <laughs> why why is he here you know like, yeah he's be, supposed to be up there because of his brown dash's son yeah it used to be like that but now um it's just a it's a conversation of saying Ish, um when i meet someone now and you throw that card they just oh oh he's brown dash's son oh okay yeah well, that's dope oh, yeah. okay what does he have to offer then it becomes a comparison thing. Mm. You understand? Because I do music also. Yeah, yeah. So when you throw that card and then that person finds out that I'm also a musician and stuff, yeah. they immediately throw in the comparison. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Start com- comparing me to my dad and everything. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. You need to mess with whatever I do first yeah. before you can just like, you understand what I mean? Yeah, but to answer your question, it used to be like that, but now, nah, not anymore, man. I know how to carry myself now. I know, I know how to just like, you know, be my own... I'm a man now, Dabo. Jeez, man. Yeah. Can you imagine? Um, jeez. The next question that's going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, um, no. Keep them coming, my bro. Tell me about that day mm-hmm. when you guys got the call mm-hmm. um, that he's no longer with us. Mm-hmm. 
Walk um, me through that day. This was 2012, 9th of May, I remember. So um, what happened was we're just chilling at the house and then obviously at the time you know, I didn't have a phone and everything. Yeah. Oh no, I had a phone actually. I'm lying, I had a phone. So we're just chilling at the house. Um, all of a sudden at like 5, 6 p.m. everything gets switched off. Okay. TV is off, radio is off and everything. My mom wasn't wasn't home at the time also. I was home with my cousin, Samu, and then my boy. And then they switched off the TV and radio. I'm like, that's that's weird. What's yeah. happening now? Yeah. They said, I know nothing. Relax. I said, oh, okay, cool. Clean. I go on my phone. I'm going to mix it. There's a friend of mine called Linda we're use, also. We're using a Blackberry. <laughs> nah. E250. Was it nah, it wasn't a Blackberry. You know, it was a Nokia. Yes, yes. Uh, that one Nokia, was proper. Yeah. Nokia Express or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. 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 I think the one with the red uh, yeah, thing. That one, yeah. The one with the, b- the bigger speaker ever. Yeah, that one yeah. with the Mzongkong. Um, that one. Too. Yeah. Mzong so Kong. I was going to mix it. <laughs> um, I get a text from a friend of mine called Linda. Say, yo, boy, sorry. I'm like, Sorry, what do you mean? Like, yo, I'm sorry for, for your loss. I'm like, what do you mean, dog? It's like, um, your pops. I'm like, my pops? It's like, oh, you didn't hear? Oh, sorry. It must have been maybe like a, 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 a death hoax or something. I said, I, I'm like, okay, this is weird. Ah, keep your hair, dog. And then after that, my cousin comes and says, yo, boys, please give me your phone. Also, ah, she takes my phone, stay sharp, clean. And then one mistake they did, they sent me to go buy bread. Yeah, well, mm. Send me to go buy bread. I shop, I go buy bread, dog. So as I'm just like, you know, walking in the streets and stuff, my dad's music is playing from radio, Koka, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well. And then I hear the, the radio host say, ah, oh, man, what a legend. Gone too soon. Brown dash, whatever. You know what I mean? Bruh. I'm on my way to buy bread, dog. That time you're, you're, you're on the I'm street. I'm just like, Bruh. yeah, I'm like, yeah. Like, that's the second thing. I'm like, hey, man, what's happening here? I'm just like, right, okay, cool. But I go back home. And then when I got home, they came to pick me up and then drove me straight to Ezola. I went to my grandmother's house. Drove me straight to Ezola. When we got to Ezola, we just saw a lot of people there. And I just nah, I just knew what time it was. I was like, oh, okay, that's what it is. Oh, okay, now nah, I clean. I see what it is. You know, yeah, yeah. So that's how I got the news. So through radio, how old were you? I was, how old was I? Twenty twelve. I think, eh, uh, but my fourteen, thirteen, fourteen, love. Like, yeah, yeah, thirteen or fourteen around there. Jeez, man, yeah. I, can, I can imagine how hard hectic it was. It was, you. dog. Dude, For, you literally and had it on the ra- on the radio on the radio, dog. That's that's the radio, dog. That's the crazy thing. Not even thing, a family yeah. member calling, nothing, nothing calling, or maybe it, yeah. they call you guys together, like yeah. on the radio. Because at home, I, I understand what they're doing because they didn't want me to find out through all those platforms. That's why yeah. they had to do what they did. But at the same time, um, they didn't think good to you. When I step out, I'm just going to hear it from elsewhere, either way, type thing. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah, man, I think they wanted me to hear it. in my grandmother's house, your boys in. This is the story. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Dude, did that affect you mentally? Because, mm. you know, dude, when I think of Cairo. Yeah. Dude, sure. with everything that's happening, I'm sure Cairo, I don't know how old she is, but I bet you for sure she has a phone. She has social mm. media. She mm. has social media pages, actually. Mm. Mm. And mm. when she sees the video of her dad, like, passing away sure. like that, dude. It's so, it's so And people just coming out and coming out and coming out mm. and coming out. Like, yeah, you know how people are on social media. Mm. They, they're either going to speak bad or good. You mm. understand? Mm. Mm. I can only imagine how hectic it is for her. Mm. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. I don't know whether maybe she got counseling, but mm. that was very hectic. Yeah, so I can only that. imagine for you man. how hectic it was. Just mm. you walking by... Uh, 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 the street and you can hear they talking about your dad like mm, oh gone mm. too soon something like that how hectic it was for you I think it was it was a bit dark so luckily no one really noticed or no, no one really saw me yeah you know? I just did that walk one man came back one man came to the house acted like I didn't hear anything and just kept it uh, kept it to myself chilled and everything um Hey, but dog, the social media chat, dog, it's so crazy, man, because 
Um, I think also from, yeah, man, a lot of family members also f- f- uh, found out through social media and radio and stuff, though, before yeah. you know, getting a phone call yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember the time my mother and my grandmother were in hospital with him when he passed. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. And then... I think the craziest thing also is that he was pronounced dead before he even died, dog. Are you serious? Yeah. So I think one of the friends made a call or something. I think the way like Bru was pulling up to just like, you know, mm. come check on the Bru because he was in hospital and stuff. Yeah. And then one of the friends decided to say, yo, this Bru is gone. While he was still alive. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's pronounced dead before he even died. That's what's crazy. So... That's how, like, um, a lot of people found out in the family also through so, uh, through the socials and stuff, you know? Yeah. And obviously, you know, that stuff has a whole lot of other stuff to come with, you know what I mean? Yeah, people yeah, have, yeah. People have stuff to say, man. People have stuff to Jeez, say. Jeez, man. Though. That's why I'm saying I wonder how hectic it was for you. Mm. You understand? Actually. Like, yeah, people have a lot of things to say, mm. especially when your dad is actually famous. Mm. Um, Straight it's, up, it's, it's, it's hard and I, I I wish to talk to all the kids of, of uh, South African legends, legends to say yeah. how do you guys handle life out there mm. how's mm. the pressure out there yeah. because people know you for example I look at um, Petrus Motsebe mm-hmm. you understand that guy's mm-hmm. a billionaire you mm-hmm. understand I look at his son who's the um, chairman at mm-hmm. Mamelodi Sundowns, that mm. the pressure is on him also mm. as well, because mm. people expect him to be a billionaire. Yeah, regardless exactly. of how pe- other people, you understand, they That's they're like, is. no, he's fine the way he is. But yeah. some people they're like, yeah, we shall see that even his son yeah, is going to be the a billionaire. Chat, dog. That's the comparison chat, dog. That's what I'm saying. It's the comparison chat. It's crazy. That's what they dude. do. Even yeah, dog. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Even the cases though are going through it. You know, it's the comparison chat, and people need to understand, Uguti dog, as much as we have these icons these legends as yeah. our parents yeah we also have our own lives to live you know understand? You understand? it's like your dad is a pastor but it's not all the time where you're gonna be the pastor as well yeah exactly exactly dog because i look at you dude you you obviously we're gonna go to that you're a dj now mm-hmm. right and yeah. your dad was holding the mic yeah so those See, are two separate two things, things dog. exactly jeez man. exactly dog so yeah people need to understand that dog. good to as much as we have them as parents and stuff, we also have our own legacy to leave behind. Mm. You, know, you understand? We also do our own thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, dude, we were talking about your dad. Your dad was handling the mic and mm-hmm. when are now you are a DJ. Yeah. Um, why didn't you just do what your dad did? Ash, dog. You know, funny enough, I tried. Yeah. yeah you tried. tried? Yeah. I used to <laughs> rap, dog. I have songs, dog. <laughs> I yeah. tried, I tried rapping and stuff, but I was like, ah, this is not for me, man. You yeah. know, I need to find something else, man. And then that's when I went to music production and then I also went to DJ, you know? Mm. So yeah, man. But recently also, I'm I'm on the mic. I'm just having fun with the music. Is it? Yeah. From time to time, I also rap, I also do stuff, though. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do now? You do a piano? Yeah. I'm a piano and quite too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you mix the two. Yeah, mix the two genres. Oh, that's dog. dope, bro. I'm yeah. very proud of you, dude. Thank you, dog. Yeah. One Thank thing you, that dog. I'm excited about you is seeing you and Robert Boy. Yes, yes. You guys are traveling. Yes, Me, yes. Dog. Yeah, that's my brother, dog. <clears throat> yes, yes. You guys are traveling, <laughs> dude. Like, yes, yes. Dude. <laughs> lie. How do you do this thing, dude? Like, don't you guys get tired? Two minutes, two minutes, you're in Ghana. Two minutes, two minutes, you're in Zimbabwe. Two minutes, two minutes, you're in. <laughs> Botswana. Yeah. The next day you are in Namibia, Namibia, dude. Namibia, whatever. Yeah, dog. We do get tired, dog, but obviously we'll never post ourselves sleepy or just resting. We mm. always post the work, the, the, what's the name? The, the product, the productivity. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. we post. Yeah. But yeah, we do get tired. We do rest and everything. It's, it's normal, dog. We do. Yes, yes. No one lie, dog. But the traveling is dope, man. I won't lie. It's a beautiful experience, man. Recently got this chain, dog, for being everywhere in Sata. So Yo. this thing, it's like a thingy. Can you see it? It's yeah, like yeah, a, I can see it. Yeah. Map of Sata and it has all the provinces and stuff. So being you guys have been to all the pro- all, of them, all the provinces in all South of Africa. Sata, dog. All w- of them. What's the goal? Because at some point you're in Dubai. <laughs> like, guys, I you think- can just call me, bro. Like, I can just be your cameraman or <laughs> yeah. something. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that, dog. I think, dog, more than anything, it's just like 
you have to touch each and every corner at home first before you just go outside. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just know your home and then hold it down. Yeah, bro. Get like a solid fan base here before you just like, you know, mm. export yourself and do other stuff. Other people do it. You can go out there and do whatever, but just don't forget about home. Yeah. yeah. You must go there. You must get there. You must get there. You must get there. You must get Must just be everywhere, dog. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. Yo, dude, I'm so proud of you guys. Thank you. you know? I'm dog. proud of you, actually. Thank you, bro. I'm proud of you. Uh, you seeing you becoming who you are, you know. I'm Thank very you, happy dog. for you, you know. I really actually wanted to know the story mm. of um uh, of your dad and yeah. how your relationship was with him, you know. Yeah, I know. Shout I can see dog. that he was a cool dad. It's just yeah. that from your side, you felt a bit of pressure, you know. Yeah. You are yeah. not ready for that. Mm. I don't think any kid is ready for anything like that. Ash, yeah, dog. That's, that's why I'm just like, Ash, you know what? I have a daughter now also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah. a daughter. Shout out. So I'm just like, you know what? As much as I'm doing what I'm doing right now also, um, I'm going to be that superstar also one day, yeah, bro? Yeah. And I also want her to just like, you know, I don't want her to go through what I went through. So I just need to find a way to just like assist the best way possible, which he... I've been needing some more childhood and just yeah. like, you know, have have it different compared to me. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, man. So yeah, that's that's my goal also, man. Would you want to see yourself as big as your dad one day? Yeah, or probably bigger. Mm. Probably bigger, man. Do so you want to take it to the next no, level? Yeah, yeah. Because now it's I'm creating two legacies, dog. I'm keeping his alive and also building my own. Ever. So that needs to be that needs to be hectic. Unfortunately, it needs to be higher. It needs to be bigger. Yeah, so I want to be bigger, dog. No Dude, I'm so happy you, for you. Eh? Thank you, man. I'm, I'm very happy Appreciate for you. Man. It's good to see you. Good to see um, you too, my dog. You look clean. And you, um, man, um, may you guys do more and more gigs. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, I'm very happy for you, man. Thank man. you, my dog. I'm yeah. happy for you, dog. I'm proud of you also, dog, to, to have this whole thing going on, dog. Shout I've been out. watching you also, dog. Yeah. Me and Robert sometimes, we cheer and just like, Look at all my, my cheek, the dog. You know, yeah. yourself, override, stiff. Hey, dude. Chip yeah. it up, dog. Just, yo, yeah. It's no, been a minute, man. you know what I mean, dog? Everyone's dude. doing their own thing, dog. It's so beautiful to see, man. Yeah. And all of that stuff came from that platform, Massive Metro. Imagine. You know what I mean? So that's why we need to also give um, Smoo his flowers, you know? We have to. Yeah. Shout out to Kukot Man. Shout out man. to yeah. Man also for just, like, putting us on that platform so that we can just, like, you know... Yeah. I think, I think giving Smoo his flowers... It wouldn't be enough, like just giving him flowers, you know, yeah. like or maybe giving him appreciation. Mm, I think mm. if we had, we if we had to ask Boo, what would we do to give you flowers? He would probably say to us, "Help young people." Mm, mm. The way I helped you, help yeah, other people also, as yeah. well. Nah, so that's what that's we're true, doing. Dog. Yeah. That's so true. he he actually uh, sowed a seed inside of us of helping mm. the youth because mm. he's 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 all about the youth. Yeah. So that's what we need to do. Yeah. By absolutely. giving him. We can just say, yeah, we are helping the youth because of Zbu taught us how to help the youth. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. You know, mm, he taught mm. us. That's how we can give him his flowers. Yeah, I know. That's, that's a Thanks, man. Dog. Shout out. Shout out to you, my dog. Hola. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank man. you for having me, my dog. Sure, man. We out. Yeah.